Should you go with a metal or a plastic sextant for your sailing adventures? In a direct comparison of the two sextants in terms of size, the Davis, the plastic sextant is actually a little bit bigger, which is nice to hold. Uh, the metal sextant is slightly smaller, but pretty much the same size for the two of them. Uh, they both have all the same kind of parts that you can see. Uh, they all have everything you need to, to navigate with. In terms of the form factor for the storage of these sextants, the Davis uh, plastic sextant box is significantly smaller than the metal sextant box. So if space is an issue on your boat, the Davis um, sextant will be a little bit easier to stow. The plastic box is also a little bit less strong than the wooden box, but you could also always construct your own box if you needed to, or buy an aftermarket one. Uh, but they do both protect the sextant just fine, uh, the metal sextant being a little bit bigger in terms of storage factor. In terms of the Celestair metal sextant, it's high quality. Uh, this one is a 20 year old model, so you can see some wear around different parts of it, but it's in excellent shape. A uh, common thing to do is attach a little hand lanyard to it so you don't lose it over the side. So that's one thing you can do. And then um, in terms of parts, it's got all the standard parts. It's got a telescope, it's got two mirrors, it's got seven sunshades for the different areas, a micrometer drum, and index um, arm triggers here to move it. It goes from zero all the way to 130 degrees of arc. High quality uh, build. The sunshades all kind of stay where they're supposed to when they move around, all right? It's got adjustment points for the mirrors. So there's one on this mirror and two on this mirror. Uh, this particular model is a, a split horizon. So it's got a silvered mirror on one side and a clear glass on the other to get through. Uh, the telescope is slightly adjustable, slightly adjustable. So it gives a good uh, clarity of view. And then it's just nice to hold in your hand. It's high quality um, and it definitely moves smoothly. Uh, it does require some maintenance, right? So we have it on a maintenance schedule, but overall very good. Uh, this one has a light, so you can press on it to see the, the numbers at night, but a very good sextant. Um, my favorite one, but by no means it's the only option out there for metal sextants. In terms of the Davis, the plastic sextant, this is another great sextant. This has um, seven sunshades as well, two mirrors, a telescope, index triggers, and an index uh, or I'm sorry, a micrometer drum to help you um, get your fine tune adjustments. So all the same parts are there. The only difference is really the kind of the quality of the build and to be expected, it's a plastic sextant. Um, the parts are made of plastic, so they do feel a little chintzier, but this is a pretty high quality sextant and it'll get the job done. Uh, this sextant goes from zero to 130 degrees as well as some kind of back angles if you needed to go into the negatives. Um, the micrometer drum spins just fine. The gears are uh, not worn out. This is a this is a 20 year old sexton as well. Sunshades are a little bit floppier, but that's something that you can adjust if necessary. There is a little bit of wear in the mirrors as a 20 year old sextant kind of being worn away, um, and it has not been kept in very good conditions at all. We added a lanyard to it, you know, so it's fine. It's a great sextant for beginners. It's perfectly functional. Um, it's a little harder to see through the telescope than the other model, but in terms of function, it does the job perfectly well. So here's my suggestion. If you're just starting out, a plastic sextant is perfectly fine. It's functional, it gets the job done, and you will be able to navigate with this uh, for fun or for an emergency. If you're really into celestial navigation, it's a great hobby that you wanna pursue for a long time, the metal sextant is a good investment. There is a definitely a price difference between these two, but in terms of getting the job done, either one will do it. The plastic sextant is not so chintzy that it's gonna fail on you, especially if you take care of it, whereas the metal sextant can be a little bit pricey, but it will last quite a bit longer.